I've seen lots of form redesign projects over the years. The biggest ones tend to involve pages. That is, taking important data entry flows and redesigning multiple page interactions to collect what's needed. These flows are so important to companies that they spend lots of time designing multiple page interactions, testing them as single page interactions, and even testing the conversion of dynamic inline accordion interactions for these forms. After seeing these kinds of efforts a lot, I decided to test which structure for data collection would actually work the best. We pitted a multiple screen version of a typical e-commerce checkout flow against the single screen version and two dynamic inline accordion versions. After testing these, guess which one won? The answer is none of them did. Each form had the same conversion rate. We didn't end up moving the needle at all. And I've heard from others that have tested this in the real world, they found the same thing. So if these kinds of redesigns don't increase conversion and we're spending a lot of time trying to get them to move conversion, what actually will help us get there? Fiscal-minded companies really want to know. In A-B testing, when an 11-field contact us form was compared against a 4-field contact us form, the number of submissions jumped dramatically, 160%, and conversions likewise increased 120%. Moreover, the quality of submission stayed the same. In this case, and many others, forms are collecting a lot of data that they actually don't need. But not every opportunity is this obvious. On a major travel site's checkout flow, many customers that clicked Buy Now didn't end up purchasing. They got tripped up by an optional field labeled Company that caused them to enter incorrect billing information. After removing this single optional field, conversion jumped overnight to the tune of $12 million more in profit a year. Perhaps the more surprising part, though, is that this checkout form actually had 50 to 60 similar issues with it. So the idea of removing requirements actually goes a long way. In this case, we even removed an optional requirement that people didn't have to enter in order to complete the form. Now, while removing requirements can boost conversion, what happens when we get down to the bare minimum? What else can we do to actually get things going in a positive direction? Time for another example. This time, a major online retailer had just two buttons at the start of their checkout experience, login or register. Customers could still buy, without creating an account, but the interface didn't make it clear that was possible. One label change and the addition of one line of text later and the amount of purchasing users popped 45%, adding up to a $300 million increase a year. In this case, it was a lack of clear requirements that confused users. Making everything you ask for in the form crystal clear is another design-driven way to boost conversion. To illustrate, just how important small design adjustments are to form conversion, let's look at another simple registration form. Here, one optional field, the phone number, was responsible for a 37% drop-off rate. Adding the word optional, just that small a change, to this little form boosted conversion 2x. Now here we're talking about the indication of requirements. While there was a little asterisk highlighting what was required and wasn't, it wasn't explicit enough. When we literally put the word optional next to the phone number field, things change dramatically. When designing forms, it can be surprising to see how far removal, clarification, and indication of requirements can take you. Consider this set of 23 input fields and the fact that they can be boiled down to just four, while still accomplishing many of the business objectives of the original set of three form pages. As we saw in our examples, design is a key driver of form conversion, Managing the indication, requirements, and perception of forms gives us a number of design-oriented techniques to help us optimize the critical flows in our apps.